Okay, this is Coogan Cassis for IFL TV in association with Macklin's Jim Marbella. With me, I've got Pat Bassiano, who's brought his uh, team of New York fighters to come over for an amateur show here in uh, Essex. How are you, Pat? Okay. Yeah? How are you? Hey, I'm very well, thanks. How are you good. finding Essex? Good, good. Very nice. Yeah? Very nice people. Everybody's very polite. Everyone uh, treating you well? Yes. So uh, these are your boys who will be fighting tomorrow night? Yes, I'm very sure. proud of them. Yeah, absolutely. Um, should we go down the line? They can introduce themselves. Yes, yes. Right down the line, they'll say their own name. I'm John Duffy from Staten Island, New York. Okay. I'm Nick Scaturcio from Brooklyn, New York. I'm Henry Clare from Staten Island, New York. I'm Freddie Gonzalez from Staten Island, New York. I'm Ken Robles from Staten Island, New York. My name is Emmanuel Lopez. I'm from Staten Island, New York. Hi, Lou Manfred, Staten Island, New York. How you doing? Right, so guys, how are you feeling about tomorrow night? We'll start with you, sir. I'm excited. I can't wait. Uh, feeling good, feeling strong. Excited to see everybody around us and uh, hopefully to put on a good show. Your first time in uh, the UK? Yeah. Yeah? And how have you found it? I, I found it well. And have you met your opponent that you're going to be facing tomorrow? Uh, no, not yet. No? Have you, see, have you seen your opponent that you're going to be facing? Uh, no. Well, I'm not too sure who it is yet, but I think I have an idea. Okay, okay. And how are you finding it? Um, I'm finding it uh, lovely. I've been here a couple times before because I have family out here. Um, I just love the culture, how the people are. They're really nice. It's a little bit diffused, diffused more than other places I know. Okay. So um, what kind of boxers do you like watching in the, in the professional ranks? Uh? Um, I like watching Floyd Mayweather, Guillermo Rigondeaux, Roberto Duran, all those people. Yeah? P pick pound for pound some of the best yeah. fighters there. Absolutely. All different styles. Absolutely. And so, who, you know, what kind of fighters do you like watching from America? Is there any English fighters that you like watching? I like Ricky Hatton to keep it neutral. But yeah. Uh, I like Roy Jones the most. I think he's great. Yeah. Not Hopkins, all of them. Yeah. Because I'm a light heavyweight myself. So I like okay. To watch okay. Yeah. Fan, of, fan of Kovalev? Kovalev? Yeah. Yeah, he's a great guy. I took a picture with him. Yeah. So he's a nice guy. So I like people who take pictures with me. They're good. Okay. And a powerful guy as well. Yeah. Powerful, yeah. Who's the best fighter on the planet after Floyd Mayweather? Who would you guys say? Forget if you take Floyd Mayweather out of the equation, who do you think is the best fighter? Um, Keith Thurman. Keith Thurman? I said Keith Thurman. Triple G. You mean Golovkin? Presently or? Presently, right now. Triple G. Um, I say Guillermo Rigondeaux. Or Triple G. That's a good question. I'm trying to think. Um, yeah, there's a few of them. Khan's a good actually. fighter. I don't know if he might be second best. But uh, all, he's a good. He's, he fights neat. He fights clean. He fights with his feet. He fights smart. Yeah. Adrian so, Broner. No, Adrian Broner. <laughs> yeah. yeah. No, I don't think so. Did you guys see his fight against uh, Sean Power? Uh -huh. Yep. What did you think? He's a clown. He <laughs> he could he could have beat him. It's just he jokes around too much. You yeah. don't take it. You he had he has the skills. Alvarez definitely Alvarez. Even yeah. With Mayweather. Alvarez. Does Alvarez beat Cossos? Yes. No. No. I'm sorry. I'm a Miguel Cotto fan. No. So what kind of fighters do you like to watch? Uh, I like to watch, uh, I actually watch classic fighting more than the fighters now. I like to watch Muhammad Ali, Joe Frazier, I watch that a lot on YouTube. Uh, Sugar Ray Leonard, Roberto Duran, that's, I'm more into the boxes back in the day than the yeah. boxes now, you know. Oh really? Yeah, they're much more interesting in my opinion, you know. The only boxer today I really like is Canelo and probably Cotto. Yeah. That's about it. Who wins that fight for you? Uh, I, honestly, I think people underestimate Miguel Cotto. I think Cotto's going to win because people forget who Cotto was. And he beaten a lot of eight fighters, a lot more than Canelo has. And people are just underestimating Cotto, in my opinion. Okay, okay. So, tell us a little bit about um, your day-to-day -day training in Staten Island. What, what's a typical day for you guys? Um, we basically, we do almost every... Uh, yeah, we do we a little bit of everything. And we do the same thing every day. It's like a, a routine. Uh, we do our sit-ups and push-ups. We jump rope. We shadow box, then we do pads, then we do the bag, then we uh, sometimes we do sparring, sometimes, and then we do the speed bag, and then we do the double end. Okay, yeah. A lot of it is mental as well, though. Like yeah. we, we go over the game plan and talk about what we're going to do in the fight and stuff like that. Yeah, it's boxing much, is not all about. It's a much all different environment than here. Really? In New York, it's very busy, hustle and bustle, it's a lot of people. Even getting to the gym takes like 30 minutes in traffic. Is this a lot quieter and a lot... It's peaceful, yeah. 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 It's easy. Do you prefer nice it to be more busy? Yeah. The gyms to be well, more cause, busy, you prefer cause that? Because what we're used to. We're used to the yeah, we're just used to that. Yeah. And our gym's like everybody is slow paced and we're used to people going fast. And so our gym's not as big yeah. either. 
so everything it's is bunched, scrub, up. bunched up. But they're, these they're more organized. Yeah, like, we gotta share bags. With we fight differently. Sometimes. Like we we some people do sit ups while other people are shadow boxing. It's like all different things turns. at once. You know, over here everything's at the same time. Everybody's doing sit ups. Everybody's doing push ups. Everybody's in the bag. It's all together. Okay. So it's a di completely different environment, which is great. Okay. So who's had the most experience uh, in the ring out of you guys? Most fights this year. How many have you had? 18. 18. How many have you won? How many have you lost? 12. 12 and 6. 12 and 6. Okay. And who's had the least experience? Uh, Manny. Wait. Oh, no, you. No, I got two fights. Uh, no, you got two fights. Oh, I got one? No, I got, well, I got two, but the other one didn't count on my record. Exactly. Okay, well, I won. Yeah. <laughs> All right, fine. Yeah. Okay, and you guys are sort of in between that? The rest of you are in between um, that? Yeah, I'm the second. Yeah? The second one, so it's five. Who's um, the oldest from all of you? 24. 24? Yes. Okay. <laughs> you got the best haircut as well. <laughs> <laughs> and the youngest out of you guys, I would say it's you. No, it's him. Really? Yeah. How old are you? <laughs> I'm turning 16, he just turned 15. You look 12 to me. <laughs> 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 but that's, a good, that's a good quality to have. That's a yeah, good quality it's, to have. it's deceiving. They think I'm a piece of cake. Exactly. When he's older, you'll appreciate it. So when you're like 90, people will think you're yeah, like but it's, 85. I, I appreciate so it now because people deceive it deceive me. Like they think, oh, I'm, I'm a piece of cake. They can all, they all run me well. over. Yeah. But I, I do pretty good in there, so. Is there any, any fights from England you like to watch? I mean, he, men, he mentioned about Ricky Hatton from years ago. But uh, American. Yeah, yeah, that's what I said. Uh, who else is I don't here? like Amir Khan. I'm sorry. You don't like Amir Khan? Kelbrook? Who? Sir Henry Cooper. Yeah, he's talking about Henry Cooper from yeah. years ago. Yeah, absolutely. Classic. I think Saddam Ali is a good fighter. Kelbrook. Yeah. What about Carl Frotch? He's up, I like Carl Frotch as well. He's good too. I like Carl Frotch. Yeah. I think he beats Triple G. You think so? I think so. He thinks Carl Frotch beats Triple G, Golovkin. I could agree with that because Golovkin never been tested. That's true too. You've never been tested. But I think I think Kelbrick's the next big thing from the UK. Who, been, who, who wins from old. Triple G and David Lemieux? Who? David Lemieux, who won the IBF title That's the other a, day from Canada. I don't know. That's David Lemieux's Triple G is a lot bigger than him, so I think if he catches them. Triple G got heavy know. hands though. David Lemieux is real good. He's strong. Triple G's Triple G. strong. Yo, well, yeah. if we if we never if uh, majority of us didn't hear of him, you would say Triple G. Yeah. Because you hear of him when you hear of somebody, that makes them think that they're the better fighter. Absolutely. Because you're not gonna hear the best fight in the world. Not gonna be somebody you don't know. You know, okay. especially if you're into boxing. There's a lot of great fighters that you don't even know about. Absolutely. People well, there, listen. There's six sitting right here. <laughs> exactly. Stars in the making. That's right. Yeah. All right. Well, listen, boys. Best of luck tomorrow night and. Uh, like I said, be safe and uh, come out the other side all in good health and uh, hope you enjoy your time in England. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very yeah? much. Thank you. All right. Nice Are you guys on Twitter? Uh, Instagram. Instagram. Yeah, Instagram. Yeah, Instagram. What's your Instagram? Tell, tell the people. They might, you might get a few followers on Instagram. My Instagram name is at uh, JohnnyBoyIM. <laughs> okay. Follow me at Boxing's Best and on Twitter, Nick underscore Scaturcio. Uh, follow me on Instagram at Henry underscore underscore Claire okay follow me at Fred underscore Gons underscore okay follow me at Ken underscore Carnage okay follow me at me underscore Godly all right all right all right listen thank you very much talking to Eiffel Steven best of luck tomorrow night okay thank you, thank you very much